Hello, uh, today we're going to be mixing concrete. I'm using a concrete mixer. If you've got any quantity to do, uh, it's well worth borrowing one or you can hire one for a few pounds a day. Uh, they are really good. Um, to get the right mix, uh, the best thing really is to look on the bag of cement. Uh, it has a really good guide on there, um, different proportions uh, for different types of mixes. If you're doing something specialist, then uh, look it up uh, and get the right mix, but it's a good guide. So all the measurements uh, on the bag are in volume. So the thing is to, to get a, a bucket and use that for all your mixing. So if it's four to one, uh, use four of these, one cement. Uh, just keep that consistent, then each mix will be the same. And also you don't get weak mixes because you know things have got a bit awry. So that's the most accurate way of doing it. Put the cement in the middle of the mix if you can. So if there are four, uh, then put two in, then one cement, uh, and then the other two. So let's get mixing. So the better mix it is when it's dry, uh, the better mix you're going to get. So the, the key thing is to get some stuff at the back. Uh, it's very tempting to put a spade or something in there to winkle it out, but it's quite dangerous. So the best thing is to either stop it, or you can just punch it forward a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to mix in some of the stuff in the back now. happy with the dry mix, you can start adding water. The uh, main thing is not to put too much in because you can't take it out. So just put a bit at a time, let it mix a bit more so we get a nice smooth consistency. The first lot you can put more in. So it's going well. The pump is about the consistency of one, but there's still a lot of dry at the back. So just going to put a bit more in, even though just a mugful at a time is enough uh, to make the transition. So it's quite sticky, it's starting to mix well. Uh, just need a bit more to make it flow. Yeah, not masses, just enough. That's a good mix. Uh, it's coming away from the back. You can see the back of the mixer. Uh, you can see there's no colour from sand or cement there. Uh, it's all well mixed. So I'm going to tip it out into this barrow now. You can tip it out while it's mixing, uh, but it does tend to like spray everywhere. So I prefer to tip it up. You know it's going to be in the right place. And then you can give it a whirl. Give that a bit of a clean out. Uh, I've got a lot more to do, so uh, I'm going to do that at the end. Just remember, you can do it too, and please subscribe to our channel.